The familiar chant with an enhanced meaning, justice not only for Michael Brown, but people in the protests in the days following his death. I call them right now the Ferguson Five. Malik Shabazz, head of the Washington, D.C.-based Black Lawyers for Justice, filed the federal lawsuit on behalf of five people, claiming Ferguson and St. Louis County police used excessive force, made false arrests, illegal search and seizures, and violated civil rights. He went grabbing and snatching and arresting and sure. beating many. Tracy White says she and her teenage son were roughed up and arrested in the McDonald's on West Florissant after attending a march. One of the officers threw me to the ground. Others claim they were tear gassed and shot with what they thought were rubber bullets. I was shot probably seven times with my hands up. They slammed me on my face as if they were doing a technique move from the WWE. They're mopping my face on the concrete because my blood is everywhere. Shabazz, who the Southern Poverty Law Center calls a racist black nationalist, was a familiar sight with his bullhorn at protests. Just last week, local pastors accused Shabazz of inciting violence. He was constantly with his bullhorn, pushing them toward uh, the barricade. Now the same group says they've come to an understanding with Shabazz, agreeing with his message. A throwing a bottle of water does not necessitate a rubber bullet. If not always, his methods. I'm not sure if that, that is how, if that is um, going to work. Uh, I'm not sure what the outcome is going to be, but uh, if it's going to raise the awareness and raise the concern uh, and help a greater conversation arise, then let's go for it. If there's any doubt about my intentions, I think it's been proven over the last two weeks. I mean, I help, I help with crowd control. I help protect the people from the police.